Welcome everyone to another episode of Dino Times. I'm your guys' host, Dakota Morgan, coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona, and today we're going to be talking about the iconic, the legendary, one of my favorites, Spinosaurus. Now, the reason why we're talking about Spinosaurus yet again here on the channel is because Spinosaurus is in the news, and according to Sereno El Al, the groups, the group that went ahead and did a bunch of research for Spinosaurus, they are claiming that the dinosaur is now not aquatic. That is right, even with this, uh, the Thorosaur-type fin, the sail, uh, the new papers coming out that, in the past couple of years, I should say, that showed Spinosaurus as an aquatic-esque animal who would go on land and water. They're saying that he actually would not, I repeat, would not go into the water and survive that well. Uh, and they are doing these claims here, so we're going to dive into what these people are saying in this new paper out. Now, in order to do the research for this, the because we don't have that many Spinosaurus skeleton at all, and not that many fossils other than teeth, the spino they made a 3D uh, model of the Spinosaurus with the, of course, the paddle tail to look at the muscle mass to understand the propulsion of the animal. Now, with this 3D model, they did show that it would have a center balance at the back legs like most theropods, so the back leg stomach region would be the center of the animal. So due, due to the buoyancy point of the Spinosaurus, if the animal uh, would go topple on its side, they would, the model did show that it would not have the strength and propulsion to be able to right itself back up. It would kind of be there like a turtle on the backside of its shell. Now we're going to get into the drag because the model and the people, uh, scientists are, are saying that it would actually have a lot of drag underwater, making it difficult for it to swim with, that sp with the tail, or the spine, I should say. So unlike fish who can you know, collapse the spine, and Spinosaurus, we have no evidence of that right now. So without that, they said it basically is just dragging it behind, uh, like basically a concrete wall on its back. And due to the drag of the Spinosaurus sail, uh, they are looking at possibly the animal needed to go 10 meters below the surface to at least avoid any drag. And then we're going to get in the lungs of that, because it doesn't really look like you can hold this breath for that long underwater. Now, it can only move 1.2 meters a second. That's slower than Michael Phelps. I don't know, it's kind of a, you know, kind of a Olympian standard, but hey, but it is slower than most underwater predators in current day. Now, going back to the tail power, though, it would actually take more power than the tail could generate to allow the Spinosaurus to go underwater due to the buoyancy of the body and the air pressure and how the body was. It would just stay on top of the water, trying very hard, but it couldn't get its back legs and the center point to go underwater. The tail could not generate that much power. Now, with the lungs, as we talked about, due to the rigid torso of the Spinosaurus, they are claiming that because it could not compress its lungs like whales can due to the skeletal uh, body structure of the Spinosaurus, it being more compressed and more um, rigid, as they say. So, it, Spinosaurus couldn't really hold its breath underwater, too, for that. All of this combined is why these people are claiming that Spinosaurus is not aquatic. Whether or not we have any more evidence to confirm this, it has been a little bit of debate the past couple of weeks going in there. I'm a little bit late on the news, but in case you guys were hearing about this or did not hear that much about it, this is the news coming out about Spinosaurus supposedly not being aquatic. We will see what happens. We'll see what new Spinosaurus news changes. For, possibly does this affect Spinosaurus like Baryonyx, Irritator, and all of them in general? Yeah, I would say so, but it's coming from a guy who's just a dinosaur enthusiast and only spent a couple years on this fossil lab. If you guys enjoyed this and learned a little bit from this news, then make sure you leave a like on the video. I've been your guys' host, Dakota Morgan on Dino Times. Subscribe for more paleo content, video games, and much more here on the channel. And of course, remember folks, science is real.